Hi guys, let's talk about blockchain wallets. Blockchain wallets are very key in cryptocurrency or blockchain technology generally. You want to invest in cryptocurrency, you want to buy, you want to sell, you want to do anything, or you want to even trade. It's actually very important for you to understand different type of blockchain wallet or the best possible way for you to interact with different wallets or investing in the cryptocurrency, the security, the features or whatever you want to use. So if you understand blockchain wallet, this is actually going to be F for you. And this video is actually the best for you. So my name is Slick. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in this video, we're actually going to discuss blockchain wallets and how you can actually get to use and familiarize with them. So stick with me and I'll be right back. So what are wallets? Wallets are actually applications that allow you to buy, sell, swap, you know, or even take total control of your digital assets or cryptocurrencies like cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and all that. So blockchain wallets can be uh, centralized or decentralized. And what do I mean by uh, centralized? Centralized means custodia, means you are, you know, the stop party who can actually have control of your wallet. Why non-custodia, that's the decentralized way, but you only have access to your wallet using your keys, your private keys and any other things that you needed to do. A wallet application can be a web-based, mobile-based, desktop-based or even physical. Examples of most popular wallets are Trust Wallet, Metamask, Coinbase, Ledger Nano, Trezor and etc. And even Binance, the popular Binance you actually know. And these are examples of top wallets. Moving forward, let's talk about the two major type of wallet we actually have that actually give it to other ones so we have the hot wallet and we have the cold wallet so a hot wallet is actually any wallet that is actually connected to internet you access your cryptocurrencies your tokens via the internet so that's really important so once you access your cryptocurrency via an internet then that's a hot wallet so say for example trust wallet is a hot wallet so it means you actually have your keys your digital assets and you can access them online it's also a non-custodial wallet but at the same time, you access your cryptocurrency via the internet, which makes it auto wallet. So exa other examples, which I told you on that auto wallet, we have the web based, we have the desktop based, we have the mobile based wallet. So for example, trust wallet, we actually have mobile version and the web browser based version as well. Just like we have like MetaMask as well, the mobile version and the web based, you know, so those wallets, MetaMask, uh, trust wallet, they are all hot wallet, which is actually exciting. So um, that's it for auto wallet. So let's talk about the code wallet. Code wallet is just like opposite. Code wallet doesn't use internet, they use physical devices. That's the difference for code wallet and trust wallet. And people consider code wallet more secure because you don't connect to internet. So some people just have a large device or computer offline and they put their own wallet to it. So, but sometimes they need, when they need to transfer their wallet from one wallet to another, they might still need to connect to internet for that purpose but majorly code wallets are physical devices and there are two types of code wallets hardware wallets the hardware wallet can be in the form of usb flash drive or whatever small portable device that you can actually use where we have the physical media wallet the physical media wallet can be in form of like a paper wallet some call it like a barcode wallet because in that wallet the wallet is in form of paper the barcode is there so you can actually scan it to access you know your funds in that wallet using a barcode so they call it paper wallet so uh you but you have to make sure that you have to ensure that the wallet is kept safe because it's form of paper and so that's to avoid damages and all that so those two type of wallet the hardware wallet type of uh, uh, usb devices and uh, physical media in time of paper wallets which you can actually make these are very secure because they are not connected in that accounts can have you know a way to get in touch with you so you are being robbed of your wallet by or you you know you misplace your wallet it's actually very secure examples of code wallets are like nano trexo nano x and hairs uh wallet then trezo is also an example of uh code wallet that people use how there which is actually very great there's also a ledger company that actually made uh ledger wallets which is hardware wallet too as well so you can actually read more about that if you are interested, you want to keep your cryptocurrency more safe by using a cold wallet. And that's it for that. So finally, just like you have seen the amazing blockchain technology and blockchain wallets working, we have the centralized and we have the decentralized. Decentralized, which is know that not your keys, not your wallet, not your money, not your whatever. So you just own your own key to yourself. So um, 
that's it for this video if you find it useful share it with your network and i'll be teaching out more exciting videos around blockchain technology so stay with me on this channel and i'll see you in the very next one cheers and bye for now